what is going on guys in this video we are going to create our first fully functionable jetpack compose application from scratch it will be a simple to do application but we will learn a lot of things from this single video we will learn how to create beautiful ui in jetpack compose how to add to do items by taking input from the user how to display all those items in the ui we will also add delete functionality also we will use view model and live data to reflect the change immediately in the ui so it will be awesome project so let's get started with new android studio project Click on new project, select empty activity that is Jetpack Compose activity, click on next. Let's give the application name as Todo app. Minimum SDK select 8.0, build configuration language, let it be recommended one. Click on finish. So our project is created, let's run the app and test either it is created correctly or not. We can see hello Android, that means it is created correctly. Now let's get back. Here we will say hello to this greeting and we will delete it. And here also we will delete this greeting, surface and theme let it be there. So here we will create one composable first. Let's go and create one file. Let's call it to do list page and select file. So here we will create composable. So to create composable you have to create a function. Let's say to do list page and we will mark it as composable. You can also create with shortcut comp. If you enter it will create composable for you. So this is our composable. We will go to main activity and give that composable over to do list page. Now if I run, there will be nothing because we have not written anything. Let me arrange side by side. So before creating design, I will create a data class. So let's create a data class for the to do items. Select data class over here and let's say to do. And here we will write some variable. So first let's say ID, it as int. Second variable will be title, which will be string. And third thing will be created time so created at let's say and we'll give the type date so our to do data class is ready let's create some fake to do's so that we can use them in the ui so for that let's say function get fake to do here we'll return list of to do and here we'll create some fake to do's let's give the return type list of to do let's create first one to do let's give id as one title as first to do and created at will be date dot from instant dot now so it will take the current time similar way we will create some more let's say four items we will create let's give id two three and four second this is my third this will be my fourth to do so that i can use it in ui so these are the fake to do's you will use to display in the ui so here what we will do first thing we'll get all those to do's so value to do list equals to get fake to do so we have the to do list if you write over here text to do list dot to string and run it you can see we have four items that are being displayed so we have the data in this to do list now we have to make the design so first thing i will do is i will create a column and pass some modifier so modifier modifier dot fill max height let's take full height and give padding around 8 dp so it will be the parent column and inside this column what we will do we will use lazy columns so lazy column is like recycler view we used to do in xml based layout if you want to learn everything about lazy column i have dedicated video you can watch from the link in the description so here we will use lazy column content will be we can pass items or items index so i will use items indexed here we have to pass the list so we will pass to do list and here we will get the scope that is lazy item scope here we have to here if you write i we'll get the index and item click on it we have got the individual item from the list so we can show in the ui let's show it in text for now item dot to string let's run you can see now we have four individual items this is the first one second one third one and fourth one now we can design this individual item like anything let's extract it in another composable so i will create one composable that will be to do item so here we can write text and we need item from here so item that is to do item from here we can call this to do item if you run it will do same thing now here we can design our item so let's remove this text and design here what we will use we will use a row and in a row we will use column first to display title and created add and we will have delete icon so first i will create a column where we will have text text will be item dot created at dot to string another item will be text item dot title now if i run we can see the time and our title we can format this date this is full date so we can format it with let's cut it out 
we can use simple date format here let's pass pattern let's say hour hour minute minute and we'll give am pm and day and month you can give year also so let's give local dot english and dot format which will be our date so item dot created at we'll pass the date it will format in this pattern if i run now you can see we have time and the text let's design this and add some background so for the row i will use modifier so modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width first it will take the full width let's add padding about 8 dp let's give background from material theme dot color scheme dot primary color let's run it you can see we have background let's add padding after adding background as well so 16 dp now it will be like this let's make it rounded corner so that it will look more beautiful so before adding background we can do clip rounded corner shape and we'll pass 32 dp radius let's add 16 dp now it's looking better let's style this text as well so first text i will style let's give font size as 10 dot sp import it and color let's give color dot light gray for the time and same for this title we'll give font size as 20 sp and color will be white if i run now now it is looking much better you can make it 12 sp for the created time now it is looking good let's add a delete button as well here so we have a row in that row we have this column so after column we will add a delete icon so for this i will first go to drawable and create an icon so new vector asset clip art let's search for delete you can use any of this i will use this one and i will click on finish so we have the delete icon over here baseline delete 24 now we can use that so in a row we have a column and after this column i will use icon so icon button i will use icon so delete will act as a button so i will use icon button we have on click method we don't have to do anything as of now and in the scope we can pass icon painter resource will be r dot drawable dot delete one and description you can give delete if i run now you can see this delete icon over here i will also make it white so tint color dot white i will give the weight to this column so that it will take full size so for this column i will use modifier modifier dot weight one point if i run now you can see we have the icon and it is clickable let's center it vertically also so in a row we can use vertical alignment alignment dot center vertically now we have our ui design ready for the to do items so we have to do items now we'll add the functionality so how we'll add first i will take a text field over here and a button to add the to do so for that i will go to this design where i have this lazy column inside main column above this lazy column i will add a row so here we will have outline text field where value we need value and on value change so for that i will create variable let's say input text by remember mutable state of let's give empty value we have to import this if you want to learn about state in jetpack compose i have already uploaded a video you can check that out here we'll use this input text in this text field so value will be input text on value change input text equals to it so in this way we can take the input from the user in this input text and i will add a button which will take on click and text will be add that's it if i run now so you can see i have input text field and i have this add button so let's give a style to this row so for this row what i will do i will add modifier modifier dot fill max width also give padding about 8 dp and i will give horizontal arrangement arrangement dot space evenly if i run now now it is looking good i can type something and i can add over here now we need to add the functionality first functionality will be button on click so that we can add the item second functionality will be delete button on click so here we have icon button on delete so for adding the functionality we'll use view model so let's create a view model let's call it as to do view model and we'll extend it from view model class here we'll create the list and functions so first thing what i will do is i will create a private where let's give underscores we will not expose it equals to mutable live data of type list of to do so here we will create mutable live data and we will expose it as live data so value here to do list 
which will be of type live data list of to do and we'll get to do list so in this way we'll make it private so that we can modify it from view model only and we'll expose this live data to the ui now we'll create some functions so function let's say get all to do another function will be add to do another function will be delete to do so get all to do return type will be list of to do so this function we will call from ui this function will internally call either api either the database either in memory so for this video we will be storing it in in memory so let's create a manager for that let's create a singleton class it will be of object type let's call it as to do manager here we will create in memory variable so private value to do list let's say equals to mutable list of to do that's it we created a variable we will have same function so i will copy it from here and paste it and we will implement this functionality over here so in get all to do we will just return to do list in add to do we will take the title as a string and in delete to do we will take id as integer so we'll add this to this list so for that to do list dot add same way we are doing over here here we will do the real one so to do id will be let's get unique id from system dot current time milis dot to int it will be unique id every time title will get from parameter and date we will say date dot from instant dot now in this way we will add new to do item to this to do list so whenever we are deleting we will do to do list dot remove if so we'll check it dot id equals to equals to id so in this way we have added the functionality it will return all to do list from here first it will be empty if you add the item it will add over here if you delete it will delete from here we will get all this data in view model so here in view model we here we will assign it to this mutable live data so to do list dot value equals to to do manager dot get all to do we don't require to return over here here we need a string title and we can do to do manager dot add to do and pass the title same way here id it will be int to do manager dot delete id so once we add the data we should call this get all to do so that latest data will be reflected for this delete as well we will do this now we can use this in the ui so how we can use in the ui let's go to our to do list page here in the parameter we will take view model we will take it from main activity and instead of this get fake to do what we will do view model dot to do list dot observe as state we don't have observe as state so we have to add the dependency so let's go to google and search for compose runtime dependency you can check this android developer page we have dependencies let's select kotlin and copy this live data dependency this is the version i will copy this go to build at gradle that is app level and in the dependencies let's paste it click on sync now now if you close this and write here observe you can see we have this observe as state so it will observe as state so you can see over here we have to use by instead of equal to so to do list by view model dot to do list dot observe as state in this way we will get the to do list as state if you see we have got error over here so what is the error here you can see we have the type of list and we are getting the list but it is nullable so it can be null so we can't use the nullable value to lazy column so what we can do we can do a safe call so here what i will do to do list dot let so that it will be safe and cut this lazy column and paste it inside safe call so here we can do it now that means if it is not null then only it will show the lazy column so if i run now we have the error that means we need view model in the main activity we have to pass the view model so how we can get that we can get it as a variable so to do view model equals to view model provider we have to pass owner and let's pass the to do view model class dot java so in this way this provider will give the view model so we can use it anywhere here we'll pass in this page now we have got the view model if we run app now you can see we don't have any items because list is empty and it is null what we can do we can show a text over here if it is null so in this let call we can do if it is null we can write no items yet now run here we can see let's add modifier so that it will come in center modifier dot fill max width and also text align text align dot center and font size let's say 16 sp 
so no item set now we have to add the functionality to this add button so how we can do that you can see over here we have button and we have on click so here we can do view model since we have view model over here view model dot add to do and what will be the title title will be input text that we write over here so input text now once we add the to do we will just set it to empty so that it will clear out if i run now let's add our first item you can see it is added let's add second to do it is being added third one we have created time as well we have the title we have delete button one thing you can notice latest one is coming at last because it is a list so what we can do in view model when we get all the to do's we can reverse it with reversed so that the latest one will come at top so let's say first second so you can see latest is at top now let's add functionality for delete button so how we can do that if you go to our to do list page in the to do item we have this icon button that will delete so from this icon button how we can call the method of view model since we don't have view model over here in this composable this is independent composable we have view model over here in this composable but here we don't have so how we can access that either you can pass it from parameter like this over here view model as view model and you can get it from here and you can use it over here but instead of that better way is we can pass the entire function so here what we will do we will create one function on delete which will not take anything which will not return anything that will be unit so this on delete will be called whenever this will be clicked so in on click i will remove these brackets and just call on delete so we'll assign the on click function as a on delete so this we can pass from here from to do item here we have the access to view model so on delete what we will do view model dot delete to do and id will be item dot id in this way it should work let's run now let's add first second let's add third one as well now if i delete this you can see it is deleted if i delete third it is deleted if i add some more i can delete any of them so this is working you can add as many as possible you can see we can scroll it as well and we can delete this so this is working but if we restart the application all will be gone because we are storing it in in memory so in next video what we will do we will store it in persistent memory that will be database so we will use room database to store all the to do list over there so we'll get the list from the database we'll add to do to the database we'll delete this from the database so we'll add those functionalities if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye